Hello, hello. Welcome to the Brain Joe Virtual Classroom for the tab walkthrough for the song Wandering Boy. Um, so uh, hopefully you're familiar with uh, the song. Uh, it's one of the ones that I've played before uh, in the Tune of the Week series, and it is one of the most popular ones. So uh, every um, March, I do a March Madness where we everybody votes on the favorite uh, tunes from the past year. And the first year's winner was Snowdrop, which I did in a prior workshop. And the second year's winner was this song, Wandering Boy. And uh, for good reason. It's an awesome tune. It's got a great melody. It flows really nicely on the banjo. And it's also a really great uh, tune for double C tuning. It showcases that tuning really well. And it's a good one to learn, I think, early on if when you're kind of just starting out using that uh, tuning. So... Um, Anyhow, and I think you'll find that uh, this particular arrangement, even though it's the performance version uh, that I played, uh, maybe isn't as challenging as some others, and, and it's uh, certainly a good example that if you take a great melody, just play it good with good timing and cleanly, that it'll sound great. Um, so, uh, let me first begin uh, by... Uh, playing you uh, the uh, the original version. Let me cue that up and uh, play that for you so that you know what our end result is going to sound like. So let me grab that. <clears throat> and all right. Okay, so that is what our uh, final result is we're trying to sound like, and that is the um, arrangement that I'll be covering here. So uh, just uh, as a reminder, uh, I am Josh Turknet. I'm uh, founder of Brain Joe, and uh, this is the tab walkthrough for Wandering Boy. Uh, you can download, if you don't have it, the tab. Uh, there's a link in the video description that you can uh, click on and grab it from. This is from the um, Clawhammer Banjo Top 10 series, so you can grab that. Um, top 10 uh, book of tabs for free uh, and this is also one of many tunes that is that are in the vault uh, which is the um, library of tunes for the breakthrough banjo course so I do these tab walkthroughs regularly as part of that course um, you can see a schedule of the upcoming workshops uh, in there uh, if you go to clawhammerbanjo.net forward slash schedule and also, and that's linked in the description along with a few other things, um, including the article about how I recommend learning uh, songs from Tab uh, so that they 
sort of promote the right types of musicianship and you don't end up uh, becoming dependent on uh, that as part of the learning process. Um, and also, if you want to make sure you're alerted to future uh, uh, live workshops, uh, just make sure you're subscribed to this channel. And if you like these, um, feel free to hit the thumbs up button to let me know that you'd like me to continue to, to uh, put these out there. All right. Now, and, and uh, lastly, if you uh, feel free to use the comment box if you're watching this live, and uh, I will check that periodically uh, for, um, as, I, as I move through this tab. And I will check it now. All right. Good morning, Kevin. Let me switch to my headless view. Okay. Now, so um, up at the top of the screen, uh, where my head's supposed to be, you'll now see the tab and the... <coughs> the um, blue box, for those of you who are new, the blue box is where I will um, note whatever measure I'm working on at the moment. So I will move that as I move through this tab. All right, so <clears throat> let's get started. Um, the, uh, this song, as I mentioned, is in the key of double C, so let's make sure we're tuned up first. We have a C on the fourth string, a G on the third, C on the second, a D on the first, and a G on the fifth string. Double C tuning. Okay. So we, um, this tune begins with little, two little pickup notes. Let me get that G in tune again. All right, so um, open third, followed by the open second, and a thumb on the fifth. Okay, pretty simple. You don't have to do that fifth string, you could just do. Either one's fine. And then we're going to be starting on this C major chord, which is really just the open strings plus the second fret of the first string. And we're gonna hammer on to that second fret. So like this. So open first string to the, to the second fret of the first string, and then play brush thumb. And then we're gonna hammer on from the second fret to the fifth fret of the first string using our pinky, and then follow that with a brush thumb. So that whole measure. Moving on to the next measure, keeping our finger on that second fret, we have the open uh, second followed by a brush thumb. Now we have uh, the open second, and then we're following that by with a hammer on to the fourth fret of the third string. So, what is sometimes referred to as an alternate string hammer on. So, strike the open second, and then hammer on to the fourth fret of the third. Okay, and then you'll find this recurring uh, in a few spots in this song. And then keep that those fingers in place, and just play brush thumb. Okay, so that whole measure. more time and now we are moving in this song from the C major chord to an F major chord which in the, this uh, in double C would be the we have the index finger on second fret of the third string ring finger on third fret of the first string so we're gonna hammer on to that to that second fret of the third string and at the same time bring our uh, other finger in on that first fret so that we're forming that F chord and we're ready for the following brush so we do this first, and then play a brush thumb. Okay, and now we've got open second, followed by fourth fret of the fourth string, which I grab with my pinky. So that whole uh, measure. One more time. Okay, so everything at the top of the screen looks like this. Sorry. Okay. Move on to our next measure. 
<clears throat> All right. Um, next measure, back, back to that C major chord, so back to the first uh, string, second fret. Play open third followed by brush thumb. And then open third followed by open second and a thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure. Pretty straightforward. Do another hammer on to that first, second fret of the first string followed by brush thumb. And then a pull off from that second fret to the open string. And now we have the we have a, a Galax lick. If you see this arrow uh, that's on the um, above that second uh, above that two, and the final note there in this measure indicates we're doing the Galax lick. Which we, we here we're going to be dragging our um, index our picking finger from the second to the first string, and then grabbing the fifth string after that. So it sounds like this. that. So that whole measure sounds like this. And let me change this so it's clear. That should actually be, oops, sorry. That should actually be the open string just to make, just to, uh, Emphasize that that note's being generated with the open uh, fifth string. So again, uh, which is the same as the first string fifth fret. So that again, that measure is okay. And then, so we've gotten this measure. We've already the tail end of our Galax lick is that open fit is that fifth string. Now we're going to bring uh, pinky to the fifth fret of the first string. Play that, followed by a thumb on the fifth. And then third fret sec of the first string. Then second fret, followed by a thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure with the uh, Galax lick that comes into it. Okay, now we're moving to a G major chord, which would be the middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string, ring finger on the second fret of the second string. And we're going to hammer on to that shape. So we're going to play the open strings first, and then we'll hammer on to that shape. Okay? And then, you see the next note in parentheses indicates a skip stroke. So we skip the next stroke, and then play the thumb on the fifth. So again. Another skip stroke. Then we're playing the open second with our thumb. And then we're going to be moving to the seventh fret of the uh, first string, which I get with my pinky finger, and follow that with a thumb on the fifth. So again, that whole measure. One more time. So from the, everything at the top of the screen looks like this. Okay, now moving on to the next measure, let me, all right, Kevin asks me what microphone I used in that original video, and I'm not sure, uh, it may have been the one I'm using for this now, which is the uh, Blue Yeti mic, I use that for a lot of them, all right, um, so next measure we have now we're going to be at the fifth fret, start with the fifth fret of the, of the first string. I have my pinky on there, and then that's followed by the drop thumb to the open second. Then middle finger on the third fret of the first string, followed by a thumb on the fifth. Then index to second fret, followed by a thumb on the fifth. And then open first, followed by a thumb on the fifth. So a little descending melody there. filling all of the adjacent spaces in the melodies with a drone note using our thumb. All right, next measure, hammer on again to that C chord, followed by a brush thumb. 
This is how this is back to how we started the song. So this is familiar. Do that same hammer on to the fifth fret, followed by brush thumb. Open second, followed by brush thumb. Same uh, alternate string hammer on, followed by brush thumb. Same thing as before, hammering on to the F shape, followed by brush thumb. Open second. Followed by pinky on that fourth fret of the first string. I mean, the, yeah, the pink on the fourth fret of the fourth string. And if you want to, you can follow that with a thumb on the fifth. So, so everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. Moving on, we have open third followed by brush thumb. Then open third followed by open second and a thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure. We're about to close out this uh, A part. Get another hammer on to that C chord. Followed by brush thumb. Then third fret, second, third fret of the first string. Release to second fret, followed by thumb on the fifth. So that whole measure. Now we got a little uh, descending run with a drop thumb. Uh, open first, followed by open second with a thumb. Uh, ring on fourth fret of the third string, followed by thumb on the fifth. Oops, sorry. And then index. Do a uh, pull off on the third string, second fret to the open third, and then a hammer on from the second fret to the fourth fret, hammering on with ring. So that whole measure, sorry. And then back to C major chord, open second, followed by a brush thumb, and then pull off. So you may want to. If you're used to fingering that C major with your index, you may want to use your ring there so that you're prepared to play this uh, pull off. Um, so again, we'll start with that open second followed by brush thumb. And then middle on second fret of third string, pulling off to the open. And then a brush thumb. So everything at the top of the screen sounds like this. Sorry. This is the final measure of the A part. Open second, followed by brush thumb. And now we're leading into the B part. This is that same alternate string hammer on, followed by brush thumb. All right, now we're actually into the B part. I'm gonna pause real quick for any questions. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, Let's see, Bill, I'll come back to the Galax lick again in a minute. All right, so, and also, um, if you go to the reading, how to read the banjo tabs uh, video uh, that's linked in the video description, I mean the article that's linked in the video description, it goes over all of these techniques, including the um, Galax lick. So you can also visit that for more if you're unfamiliar with it. All right, so this next measure, uh, again, we're doing that hammer on to the F major chord with a brush thumb following it. Then pull off from the uh, open, I mean, from the second fret of the third string to the open third. Still keeping that finger on the third fret of the first string, playing a brush thumb. So that whole measure. Place finger your index back on the second fret, and then hammer on hammer on from the uh, second to the fourth fret. Again, you're going to need to use your pinky there. Followed by brush thumb. Release pinky. Play the open second and a brush thumb. So that whole measure. Again.
Now we've got uh, a pull off from the second fret of the second string to the open second, followed by a brush thumb, and then a slide from the second fret of the second string to the fourth fret, followed by a brush thumb. So everything at the top sounds like this. Sorry. All right. Now we've got uh, uh, pull off from second fret of the second string to open, followed by brush thumb. And then an alternate string hammer on from open second to fourth fret of the third string. But, but bring your index finger to the second fret of the second string at the same time. Um, we are on a G major chord here, so we want to make that ensuing brush sound harmonious. So we'll do the alternate string hammer on, bring both fingers down, and then play brush thumb. So here's the uh, entire measure. Now we've got a hammer on to the F shape again, followed by a brush thumb. Hammer on to that fourth fret of the third string with a pinky, followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure. And then releasing pinky, play open second, followed by a brush thumb. And now uh, grab uh, fifth fret of the uh, first string, play that, followed by a brush thumb. So that whole measure. This final measure here starts with a, uh, uh, um, a skip stroke, and then to the open second with our thumb. So that sounds like this with the last two notes of the prior measure. And then we're gonna go to seventh fret uh, of the first string, followed by a thumb on the fifth. Fifth fret, followed by a thumb. Third fret. So that whole measure with that preceding uh, two notes. Whoops, sorry. All right. Next is uh, the second fret of the first string, followed by a thumb on the fifth. We're still kind of continuing that little staccato all the way down. So we're, we're, we're uh, playing a thumb on the fifth after each one of these, what's sometimes known as double thumbing. So again, second fret of the first string, followed by the thumb. Then the open first string, followed by the thumb. And now we're actually back to stuff we've already played. Um, so we're going to, this, this uh, echoes the melody and the A part at the end of this uh, B part. So we have, a, a, again, a hammer on to that C major chord. Okay, which we've done many times. So this whole measure. Now, again, the same hammer on to the fifth fret of the, of the first string, followed by a brush thumb. Release that fifth fret, play the open second, followed by brush thumb. Change this here. All right, and then we've got, so that whole measure before, let me go back. This whole measure again is. Now, next measure, hammer on again, same one we've done multiple times. Open second to fourth fret of third string. Brush thumb. Switching to that hammer on to the F major shape, followed by brush thumb. Okay, and then open second, followed by uh, fourth fret of the uh, fourth string, followed by a thumb on the fifth. That's where we are. And then back to open third, followed by brush thumb. So that whole measure, which starts with our fingers still in that F shape. All right, and again, we're going still back to familiar material. This is stuff we've already done. All right, then we have open third followed by open second and a thumb on the fifth. 
and then hammer on again to that C major chord, followed by brush thumb, so that whole measure. Then third fret, first string, release, second fret, first string, followed by thumb. And then that descending drop thumb figure we did before, open first, followed by open second, with the thumb. Fourth fret of the third string, followed by the thumb. So that whole measure. And again, this same pull off hammer on sequence we did before on the third string, second fret to open, second fret to fourth fret, and then open second, followed by brush thumb. So that whole measure. And we're closing out the song. Another little pull off from the second fret to the open of the third string. Brush thumb, end with the open second, which is our C note, which is the key of our song. So from the top, everything you see at the top of the screen sounds like this. And that's it. That's Wandering Boy. Now, if you wanted to keep going, Go ahead and play those pickup measures again. Okay, let me pause and check for any questions. Um, so I'll show one more time. I'll show that uh, Galax lick. Let's see. Let me pull it back up in the tab. Um, so again, here it is. All right. This is the sequence. So we have open first. I mean, open second string, followed by the first string. So essentially, we're playing the second string and the first string in succession. Um, but instead of, uh, but we're getting both of those notes with our picking finger by dragging it across both. It's kind of a slow motion strum. And then after that, we grab the thumb with our fifth string. This is a technique that first started in the minstrel banjo era. It's used a lot in those types of. Uh, in those kinds of, uh, those arrangements. Okay, so in that sequence, that's what it sounds like in the context of the song here. It's a great little technique. It's pretty much the only time where we'll break, intentionally break the claw hammer uh, pulse of our, of our picking hand. Okay, so that's it for Wandering Boy. Um, uh, members, uh, for members of Breakthrough Banjo, I'm about to come back um, in a minute for the next uh, walkthrough for the song, or for the, uh, for the uh, tune Red Wing, which I uh, posted as a tune of the week uh, earlier, uh, or last week. So uh, if you're in the classroom uh, on the website, just uh, hit refresh in a few minutes to, uh, so it'll bring up the new video, and we'll walk through Red Wing. All right, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.